What's up, guys? How's it going? Zeltaev here, a.k.a. John. There is some big news right now going on with Catgirl that they went ahead and mentioned. But before I do go ahead and get started with that topic, I do want to go ahead and say that I am not a financial advisor. Anything I do say or talk about in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only. And it's only my opinion, All right, guys? Always make sure to invest in what you're willing to lose. Let's go ahead and get started. So before I do go ahead and get started regarding what's going on with the news with Catgirl, which is really amazing, um, you know, I'm very excited for what's going on. Uh, I do want to go ahead and mention there is some people that are over there copying my accounts, specifically Instagram. I no longer use Instagram. I've been inactive for my uh, from my Instagram for a year already. Uh, you know, there's someone out there that's copying my Instagram, reposting all my pictures, captions, literally everything. Um, it's insane. Uh, so just go ahead and watch out. If you guys do get, you know, if anybody does reach out to you regarding anything, money or anything, just don't go ahead and click on it. Like I said, I don't use Instagram. I do have one, but I'm not going to put it because I don't use it. So just disregard that. I only, the only platform I really use is Twitter. Okay. That is the only social media platform that I am currently on and that I am using. I no longer used Instagram, so I don't count it. Um, so let's go ahead and before I do go ahead and get into that topic about my Instagram, I mean my Instagram, my my uh, about the cat girl video. I do want to go ahead and say that this is the only in uh, the only Twitter account that I do have. So um, if you guys do have anybody reaching out to you, just know that I'm not gonna ever gonna be reaching out to you personally. Um, and if I do, it, it's most likely going to be through email, all right, guys? But um, just watch out, be careful, you know, do not open any messages. And this just doesn't only go to me, this goes to anybody else, any influencer that you guys watch. Just always make sure you guys are communicating with the right person and they're not asking for money and definitely do not fall for it. There is a lot of scams right now and scammers are really copying things down packed onto you know similar profiles to go ahead and you know get get some people on that scam that they got going on so like i said it doesn't just go for me it's for a lot of your influencers that you guys are watching you know youtubers or whatnot just always keep in mind you guys are reaching out to the right person and you know always make sure that if they're saying to send money or to duplicate your money just know that for the most part 100 percent of the time it's going to be a scam right so enough with that let's go ahead and talk about what's going on with cat girl so we're going to go ahead and go quickly into the report i'm not going to go too deeply into what's going on we're going to go ahead and grasp through this article and i'll go ahead and post it down below so you guys can go ahead and go a little bit more deep dive in this like i said this is solely my opinion and i'm going to go ahead and go over it so you know so what they were working on in the weekly report back on 12 2022 you know they worked on the farming ui design they you know they worked on the continuation of the smart contract for the farming as well for the nico fuse front end development and as well as a section to artwork common girls as well they did mention on the twitter that they are going to be releasing a sneak peek i believe they said this week let's see where we can find that tweet from them See if I refresh it. Could have sworn I just saw that tweet about them talking about. Well, I read somewhere literally that they were going to be talking about more information regarding this week about season two. I'm not sure they just deleted that tweet right now. But anyways, let's just go ahead and go into what I was talking about. So, you know, they have the farming right here. So it tells you right here what they're going to be doing. They're going to be implementing uh, five increment slots to place a rare plus higher cat girls and tiers for each slots. Don't have any relevance to the tier of cat girls, but we just kept the tier name similar. You can open each, open each new slot by sticking cat girls. So check this out. Bonus rates are added. Additional percentage farming power based on the cat girl provided. This is all the inventory is going to look like. Like I said, I'm just going to quickly go through it. Uh, you know, it's going to go quickly onto what they're implementing. And 
just to go ahead and mention, this is not final. You know, all, they do go ahead and do a disclaimer that everything they do show in this article, it is not final. It is pretty much the, um, the, the beta form right now is just what they have in mind. They're probably going to stick to this, but just keep in mind that certain things in this interface could go ahead and change when it does get released, all right? So it tells you right here a little bit more about the setting farming period. You know, you have seven days, 14 days, and 30 days. Seven days farming period is free. 14 and 30 day options require PAW you utilize. However, the seven day option is 50% less farming power than the other periods. And like I mentioned, as a reminder, none of these numbers reflect real data and they are randomized. Um, as well, like I said, um, you know, they're just showing the interface into this. A little bit more about the, about the farming info. So here's the stats, what it will look like. So, I mean, the interface looks really sick. I like it. I like the color schemes that they have, you know, very vibrant colors. Kind of makes it really pop really well with, uh, with, the, with the cat girl. So check this out. This is what it's going to look like. And like I said, this is just what they have currently right now. It could switch later down in the future. And it says right here, the conclusion. Let's go ahead and read that together, right, guys? Conclusion. A lot of time has been spent planning the farming mechanism, and we are excited to see everything coming along nicely. We believe our unique system will bring a lot of excitement for everybody, and we will, we will continue working hard to release it ASAP. The cat girl wishes everybody a Merry Christmas, and we hope that you get to spend the time, the quality time with your friends and family. So they did send this, uh, I think, a few days before Christmas. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into some TA. So let's go ahead and switch over to the four hourly. So right now, uh, a few few weeks ago, I did make a video. You know, this was a strong support. Unfortunately, we did lose the support. But just go ahead and keep in mind, a lot of the crypto market has been tanking. And right now, Bitcoin is kind of struggling to hold above 52000 uh, we might go ahead and touch the topic on a little bit of uh, BTC today, but we'll just go ahead and see. I don't want to make this video any any longer than what it is already. Um, like I said, right now, if you guys are looking to go ahead and get into an entry point, this would be the best time to go ahead and get in, considering the fact that they are going to be releasing that the, the new NFTs for Season 2 and as well the farming protocol. And I forgot to mention, now that I remember, I did join their, I was in their Telegram earlier, a few minutes ago, and it did mention season two information is going to be getting released this week. So I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated with that. And um, it was set to uh, to release that it was going to be the common girls that they'll be releasing those NFTs on. So I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated. But like I said, this would be a good buying opportunity, not financial advice. But if you guys are looking to go ahead and get in, you know, buying in the red is always the best time. But if you guys want to go ahead and get that good confirmation that, um, that we're back in uptrend you know uh there has been some strong resistance around this point around the point two nine if you guys could go ahead and well if you got if Kagero could go ahead and break above point two nine then that'll be a really good entry point as a as a bullish indicator that it is going to go ahead and turn upward like i said this is ta this is not 100 percent sure that this is going to happen but this is just really high probability that it will happen possibly maybe uh, you know, the one daily charts looking pretty decent as well. You know, we really need to go ahead and break above this, which is the uh, the point three zero area. We would want to go ahead and hold above this so we could be an indicator of an uptrend reversal. And let's go ahead and check out the three day chart. Three day chart, as you can tell, we had a few three day. Uh, we had a few green candles right here. This has been the red candle so far. We'll go ahead and see how that reacts. As far as a week as well, not much going on in the week. I really do believe we should be seeing these new all-time highs really soon, maybe in about February to March. I would say no later than March. We should be in all-time highs, possibly even in the beginning of January. So, you know, that's pretty much it with what with what's going on with Pan uh with Panda Girl. With Cat Girl, I do really see a lot of potential in this project. And I think with what they're going to be releasing, the Cat Girl. 
uh, farming is definitely going to go ahead and get some people coming in as well as with the marketplace. So let's just go ahead and touch quickly based on the roadmap to see what they have left. So far, they've knocked out everything on the list right now. They're going to be knocking the NFT farming very soon. Uh, they still needed to go ahead and do the merch, the merch store, Kagro Workshop, which I have no idea what that is. Kagro Social, same thing. And they, all, they haven't released any information about their play to earn game. But I think these last few things that are needed in the, in the roadmap are definitely going to go ahead and moon this project to the moon. So just go ahead and make sure you guys do go ahead and buy on the red and don't buy on the green all the time. All right, guys. But um, let's go ahead and touch bases a little bit about BTC. So BTC is looking a little decent. I mean, it doesn't surprise me with what it's doing. We definitely do want to go ahead um, to go ahead and get a full confirmation that we're back in an uptrend. We definitely want to go ahead and break above 51,000. But uh, yeah, I mean, so far right now, it's been getting pushed. And don't expect it to go any higher at the moment, to be honest. I mean, if we could go ahead and see 52,000 and above, which is the bullish indicator that we're back in the bull run, just make sure and just know that don't be surprised if this week if it tanks again, okay? This is the last of the month. I really think they might just go ahead and drag it towards the end of December, pushing into January. But I want to go ahead and end the video there. There's really not much really to say. We just got to go ahead and see how the market's reacting. People are overreacting to what's going on. You guys got to stop going you know, long on that. But um, I do want to go ahead and say I thank everybody for the support. Go ahead and comment down below. Follow. Uh, um, go ahead and check down the description. Go ahead and follow the right socials that we have as well. Join our Discord down below. We do have a new NFT coming up that it's going to be at the end of the video. We'll go ahead and keep you guys updated with that. With that, all right. So till later, guys. What is that? It's red and gooey, and it uh. Ah! Did, did, did it just move? No!